Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your weekly Oracle and Energy Report from me, Sarah, from Divinely You. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm doing things a little differently this week, and so we'll just see how this flows. Um, so I would say energetically and astrologically speaking, of course, we have the solstice, which is in the Northern Hemisphere, our longest day of the year. That launches summer, that moves the sun from Gemini, which is an air sign into cancer that is a water sign. Water signs tend to be more emotional. Um, and so, you know, be learning more about like emotional intelligence or how to manage your emotions is going to be pretty important. Um, I am not a huge fan of cancer season because it's an emotional one. It just, I don't know, it triggers the shit out of me. Um, <laughs> anyway. Uh, we still have, okay. So the, the, the other pieces are Venus still being active in Taurus. Um, and so Venus being the planet of relationships, money values, that sort of thing. Um, she's almost done in Taurus and, um, but she has created some, you know, interesting transits while she's been in Taurus. And um, so you may have noticed like shifts in your relationships or shifts in money um, or things like that. And you'll continue to notice that uh, Mercury has left Taurus. He's now in Gemini where he is at home and he's speeding up. And so there may be things just happening. Boom, 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 boom. Um, lots of change, lots of, it may feel like it's chaotic or it might feel like a circus um, for the time being. And I know this year is like literally one boom after another boom after another boom. And, and that's kind of going to continue. Like that's not, this doesn't stop for a long while. And so, um, but I feel like the sun moving into, um, can moving into cancer. I feel like there's going to be some reward for all of the, the work that we've been up to, if we've been up to a lot of inner work and light work and things like that. And so, um, there's that. I feel like I'm doing authentic uh, polls this week, but I'm feeling like the sacral chakra oracle deck for you guys. Um, I know a few people who listen to this one particularly, and so <laughs> I might be choosing a little bit biased. Um, and so I hope I don't, I hope I don't disappoint. Uh, so let's see what the sacral chakra oracle deck, the sacral chakra is your energy or excuse me, it is the energy center of your body for your creation, your creativity and sexual energy. And so um, let's see what we got from the sacral chakra oracle. I don't do these live because I use a magnifier to read the cards and it's very uncomfortable for me, but this week I decided that I'm gonna do it anyway. And so we got the law of attraction, the number 30 card, the law of attraction. Okay. Ooh, what are you bringing in? This interesting thing about the law of attraction is that people associate it with simply with the secret. And that is so limited as to what the law of attraction actually is, right? Manifestation in general is an, is a way of bringing into your life what you want. The law of attraction is you attract what you think about. And so um, this kind of relates to, um, I was just kind of explaining to someone earlier this week that like, if you are waiting around for people to get their karma, that's misuse or a waste of your energy because they're going to get their karma. But are you willing to waste your time and energy and your thoughts on them getting their karma? Or would you rather spend your energy and your thoughts on creating something for yourself, right? So it's, it's, it's the law of attraction is so not limited to the secret. It's, it's, it, 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 that's only part of it, right? There are so many things that you can bring into your world just by believing that that's what you are going to get in this life, right? So um, I don't know if that's very helpful. That seems very like vague and unclear, but, um, maybe somebody got something from that. Um, uh, maybe I'll pull from, what do you guys want? The, uh, let's go with the believe in your own magic. This is my favorite of all my decks right now. And I want, I want to get some more decks, but right now this is what I've got. And, uh, but the believe in your own magic deck is one of my favorites. And so let's see what we got from there 
Um, we got the gray card. Um, <clears throat> endings are inevitable. And so uh, this is really interesting with the law of attraction because endings can be anything, right? This reminds me of like the death card in tarot and everyone thinks the death card is like literal death versus like spiritual death and rebirth or emotional death and rebirth, something like that. And this is the same kind of thing. The gray card is kind of the same thing. It's, it's you're letting go of old thought processes or letting go of old ways of being in order to bring in the new things, right? The ending is inevitable because you have to end something in order to create the next thing. So, um, okay. So that's what I got for um, this week. Um, and then announcements. Um, I am going to be taking an astrology class, six-week astrology class. I'm super excited. Um, I get my astrology information from a website and I get it mostly from astrology reports from other astrologers. And uh so I'm going to be taking a class so I can actually learn this stuff uh, for real, for real. Um, and so, and then the other announcement is I'm going to be relaunching my Etsy shop with my mom. Uh, my mom does a lot of knitting and I do a lot of crocheting. And so we're going to combine and create an Etsy shop. And one of the things I'm going to have is these scrubbies. And uh, these are nylon scrubbies. I even put a little hanger on them, um, but really good, thick yarn. Um, they're, they're nylon, so they're not gonna, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna drip pretty easily, drip dry pretty easily. So you get a set of four of these for $15. And, um, one of my mom's products are these top knitted top towels. This is a snowflake one. Um, it's got the white button and then like a light blue, um, knitted top on it and then of course there's a fall themed one I really like this one because of the button and then the fall themed towel so those are going to be in the Etsy shop uh I'm going to be hopefully getting things together in the next couple of weeks to get it launched by July 1st um but or somewhere thereabouts that's my intention so I'll be dropping that link soon and I appreciate you guys supporting me and uh subscribing to my channel please like the videos comment on the videos so that I know that you're getting something from them that you're liking them um or you know if there's some more information that I can provide um I appreciate you letting me know that so um thank you so much and I'm sending you a ton of love for this week and have a good one now